The biggest mistake that we made, hands down, while traveling for two full years was not having cellular data. So this video is sponsored by Gigs Guide. We thought it was a perfect pairing because today we're talking about all of our mistakes and experiences of not having data on our phones for two whole years while traveling. It was Crazy. hardcore, you guys. So it's the 21st century and Josh and I decided to go and travel the world full time. Yeah. And um, when doing that, like we didn't have a data plan or anything. We pretty much got rid of everything while, like everything we had in the We US. were like purging, I think. Yeah, and we, I mean, we didn't want to pay for data every single month. We were on a super tight budget, super so tight. we didn't want to yeah. have a contract. Um, I, I know a lot of people have suggested like, oh, my carrier has this plan and it's only 40 extra dollars a month. And I'm like, Bleh. Before we start talking about all of our specific experiences, which I think is gonna be some really funny stories, uh, the one thing you need to know is to travel the world with cell phone data, you need to have an unlocked phone. Yeah, so, so for the last five months, we've been using a company called GigSky where they have sent us a SIM and we've been able to use it in the countries as we go along. Right. Um, that means within the last five months that we've been realizing that this is something we uh, have missed out on while traveling um, the first like, like couple years of travel. It feels like a luxury. Yeah, we like the, we worked so hard the first couple years because we didn't have the data and it would have saved us so much time, so much stress, so much anxiety. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm so happy to have it now, but I look back at moments, which is what, what we're gonna do now, is look back on moments where Gig Sky would have helped us so much. So the first experience that we wanna share with you is we were in Warsaw, Poland. Just getting the SIM card to work was a chore. We are headed now to the Plus cell phone store. This one, as best as I can understand, says that I have to activate it from another phone. Or maybe I don't understand the Polish well enough. I think if we go into the Plus, they can sort me out. So here's the deal. At least with Plus, maybe other people's different, but with Plus, I had to come here. I had to register my SIM that I bought elsewhere. I had to go and purchase more credit. That five Zlothy I had purchased before was just buying the SIM, I guess. It seems to be different everywhere you go. So then they give you a number and you're supposed to call that number and that tops up your credit. But my card is still not registered. I have to wait two hours for it to process through their system. I, I got my SIM card working now. It's been a little while. I turned my phone off and I turned it back on and um, it just started working. I tried to call that number again to activate it and it said the number is no longer available. So that leads me to believe that even though my card hadn't fully registered before when I called the number the first time, it still recognized that I called the number and applied that credit after my card had been activated. This has been the most difficult so far, um, but you know, it wasn't bad at all. I didn't have to get signed a contract. It's still a prepaid card. I just had to give my ID and then go through a little, little bit of a hassle. So to sum it up, basically I bought a SIM card Plugged it into my phone, it didn't you work. You bought a SIM card that all the information was in Polish. It was in Polish. <laughs> so I had to wait till we go back to our Airbnb and I used like a text translate to translate the information that was written in Polish. And yeah. the best I could figure out was I just needed to go somewhere to a cell phone store and they'll figure it out. Then when I got there, they were like, oh yeah, you need to put more money on it. And I was like, cool. So then I went and got more money and it didn't work. And they're like, oh yeah, you need to activate your card too. So then I had to pay for it to be activated and I waited a few hours for yeah. that to work. Josh would always think that maybe it would work in the next country. Maybe this time. <laughs> but it didn't. No. So, so with GigSky, yeah, yeah, with Gig specifically, Sky, it this is one of the so reasons we convenient. love them so much yeah. is that you buy a package for a, a region of the world, like yeah. Europe. And then the data just works seamlessly as you go in between countries, like yeah. no hassle whatsoever. And that alone is just convenience enough. So there's two other instances of us not being able to um, use our data right away when getting into a country and it kind of was a fail. Um, one of them was, yeah, Bulgaria. We were in Sofia and unfortunately our bank didn't work. We didn't have Wi-Fi or the internet to try to figure it out. And so we actually missed out on a full day of adventuring in Sofia. Good morning guys and welcome to Bulgaria. We are in Sofia, Bulgaria and we just have a few hours here today so we need to get started. The bank declined us again so now I have to find Wi-Fi and approve the transaction so we can do anything. Of the five Wi-Fi networks that are here, not a single one works including the one in the cafe. It's broken. 
The bus ticketing office doesn't open up for another hour. Can't buy our tickets. The baggage claim does not take credit cards, so we can't pay for our baggage. The bathroom takes money, so we can't go to the bathroom. We're basically stuck here at the bus station. We have no way of getting any cash at the moment. So taking the metro into the city is a no-go. I'm fine with that. I was planning on seeing Sophia, but we're just gonna have to miss out on Sophia or a plan when we come back that we spend a little time there. Yeah, hopefully that works out and we can get all taken care of now. All right, thank you very much. All right, bye. Okay, a very staticky Skype call to Bank of America. Despite the fact that I approved the uh, fraud alert and I have a travel alert set, that doesn't matter. Uh, it's still gonna get flagged and there's nothing I can do about it. So I have to call Bank of America and talk to them to get my card approved. What? As you can see, that was extremely frustrating. I, I don't even think we showed the most frustrating part was that it took hours to get a hold of the yeah. bank because the Wi-Fi at the cafe was so sketchy. The funny part about these videos is that it doesn't show us wandering around for hours or trying to yeah. figure things out or talk, trying to talk to people who speak a different language. Like, so much time was wasted. Yeah, and if we had just had data, then I could have been like, okay, the card yeah. doesn't work, so let's call the bank and just let them know like, hi, yes, that was me. Please turn my, my number back on. So As opposed, easier. so like, okay, here's, here's the thing. They have international, uh, phones there at the train station which you can use to call internationally and the rates weren't horrible But we didn't have cash because our ATM card was shut off and we had to call them to activate it It was like oh my gosh uh, And this happened more than once This is not the first time No If we had Gig Sky, we would have had a secure and strong connection to a local service provider using their cell phone data with our GigSky app. So basically, again, it would have just worked seamlessly. We could have used Skype right on my phone without having to worry about the sketchy internet Wi-Fi. And it just, we would have just been able to take care of this so much faster. And we- We wandered around for hours looking for cafes. Yeah, we did. So again, that would have been so cool to have GigSky. Now we have them and we recommend people use it. Um, but man, that was so frustrating during that time. Another instance was in a town called Mokogora, Serbia. You've probably never heard of it. We were on a bus. We didn't know when or where they're gonna drop us off. When they yep. dropped us off, we didn't have money because we were in a brand new country. Mm -hmm. we, we couldn't get a hold of our host. Yeah, because we didn't have any Wi-Fi or anything to tell him where we were at. We had to find Wi-Fi. It was just this whole ordeal. All right, so check this one out. We're in Serbia. <laughs> I mean, this is it, guys. We are in the town, um, mm -hmm. but our Airbnb is not, which we just sort of found out. It's about a 30 to 40 minute walk. Let's find an ATM. Let's see if we can find a taxi. It can't be that expensive, right? No. Okay. We just checked the um, one restaurant and mini store in town. They don't have an ATM, they do take card, but that doesn't help us, we need cash right now. And Ashley is completely unconcerned because she just spotted some kittens. <laughs> oh my, little baby. Oh, so cute. Now let's figure out our money problem. I got my kitten fix. <laughs> they only take cash for our Airbnb. Yeah. All this is so we have money in Serbia. We have no money in Serbia yet. It's broken. No. Yeah, it's aired out. It's stuck on like the Windows setting. It's like running Windows. For real, I'm not joking. <laughs> I, I messed with it and it got rid of the Windows screen. So, so we have money. We are thousand heirs. Just FYI, Denare is like a hundred, basically a hundred to the dollar. Have you seen a taxi? <laughs> I have not seen a taxi. Yeah. But we can always ask. We finally found food, we've got money, we've got, actually we have Wi-Fi too. So Ashley emailed our host at the Airbnb to see if they'll come pick us up here in like two hours. That'd be great if they responded. If not, we'll figure something else out for the rest of the day. There are so many instances that we cannot show you of when our Airbnb hosts want us to contact them when we arrive but we didn't have Wi-Fi, we didn't have data to yeah. contact them. So we'd either have to go find a cafe somewhere um, close by Hope to that try. there was one nearby. Yeah, without having data. So that we could just like, see like yeah. there's one. Or wait forever. 
Uh, yeah, we just had to think ahead of time for everything. So to just wrap it up, our biggest mistake the last two years, and we truly believe this, is not sure. having a data service provider while traveling. Something as simple as hailing an Uber or using Taxify to get a local taxi, that's so basically hard. impossible without yeah. data. I know that, you know, 10 years ago, this was the norm, like people had to do this. But look, it's the 21st or second or whatever century we're in. Wi-Fi data is inexpensive and easily accessible and we love GigSky. They're, uh, they're a sponsor of this video. They've been a sponsor of this channel for several months yeah. now. And, and we love them. We love them. So That's great. why we chose to work with them. So And we use them every single day. Every single day. So I cannot recommend GigSky highly enough. Uh, there's a link in the description. You can go to the website, purchase a SIM. It's basically a little SIM card. You pop it into your phone and then you activate it using their app, which mm -hmm. I think is probably the best app in the market, at least that I've seen. It's so convenient. And then whenever you are gonna go to a new region, not a new country, but a new region, you just buy a data plan for that region. Yeah. And it the just works for your country. The cost varies from place to place. Um, yes. And you can get, like if you're going to be somewhere for five days or one day, right. you can get the amount of data that you'll be needing Mm -hmm. um, in the area that you're at. Both the US and Europe are really competitively priced and for us it's just a matter of is the convenience of not having to spend half the day finding a new data provider in this area worth it? And for us, yes it is. Yeah, so I hope that we encourage you to travel. Mm -hmm. This is an easier way to travel. The 21st century is exciting and you can <laughs> go new places and travel to new places with data and, and everything not is get lost pace. and kind of, yeah, not be stressed all the time. Um, which we were. It is. It's so great. We encourage you guys to just check it out down below. Um, yeah, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's, you find it helpful, and yeah. we'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye. Bye.